All right, one, one more circular motion problem. Uh, what we have here is that we've got a uh, Ferris wheel, uh, and we've got a person, uh, they're actually, they're, well, they're sitting in the Ferris wheel that's moving around. Uh, this person's gonna be moving with a constant speed as they rock, take the ride here. They're gonna be, they're sitting on a scale, and actually the question is gonna be to find the apparent weight. And so we know that apparent weight is what the scale reads. Or, in other words, how much force, how much normal force does the scale have to apply to that person when they're sitting on it there? Uh, what else is given? Actually, the mass of the person is given. Uh, how fast they're moving as they move along the circle here. And also the radius of their circular trajectory is all given. So, once again, well, we've got apparent weight we want to find in here. We're going to have to use our forces strategy. And so let's think about the forces involved. We, of course, have force of gravity, and we know that the scale is going to push up on the person uh, with a normal force, which is ultimately what we want. We want that normal force because that's the apparent weight, and there's no strings attached to the person. That's the object we're studying. There's no friction involved uh, at this point, at least, so there's, there's, that's it. And so, I mean, maybe just in the picture, our first guess is, hey, there's an upward normal force, there's a downward gravitational force. Uh, they must be equal, right? Well, no, because we know that this person is accelerating. They are accelerating. And we know that the, as they move around here, they're accelerating actually. At this instant, they're accelerating in the upward direction. So we're going to choose our, let's choose our standard coordinate system here. And now we're ready to apply Newton's second law. Now, there aren't any force components in the x direction, the horizontal direction, so we can jump right to the uh, vertical direction, the y component. And actually, this one you know, is a little bit quick for us because we don't have to worry about sines and cosines uh, with the components here because the normal force is directly in the positive y direction and the gravitational force is directly in the negative y direction. And again, I'm just going to skip a step and plug in mg for the force of gravity. Now over here we have the person's mass, and now a sub y, the y component of this person's acceleration. This, uh, this person is accelerating towards the center of the circle, which at this point uh, is the positive y direction. And we know that the amount of acceleration is v squared over r. And so actually we're, we're just about there. This is a Bit of a shorter problem because we can solve for the normal force and we find that it is equal to it is equal to this. And so in this instance, um, the person at this moment the person's accelerating upwards, and the apparent weight of the scale reading is actually larger than mg, the weight of the person. Um, and so that's what we'll find here. And we've got, yeah, we've got the mass is given, V and R is given, and of course, uh, we know G is 10 meters per second squared in our class.